I forgot to add to myself to the stream. I apologize. Well, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. I appreciate those of you that were hanging out waiting for the stream to start. I got a couple of fragrances in today that I've been very excited for them to come in. And uh, yeah, we're going to give them a live first impressions and sniff. For those of you watching the replay, make sure you hit that thumbs up, subscribe, turn on all notifications, enable YouTube notifications so you get alerted. And you can join in on these live chats when we do them. So first things first, one of the greatest openings ever created. I am wearing Terre d'Hermes Eau Givre today. I have way more sprays around my neck than I need to have six sprays around my neck. I left my arms free because I wanted to do this live stream. I wanted to leave my arms available. But if I didn't have this going on, I would have done probably two sprays on top of each forearm for a total of 10 sprays because ah, why not? It's so good. Terre d'Hermes Eau Givre, one of the best citrus heavy fragrances I've ever smelled. My God, it's amazing. If you haven't smelled it, you should really smell it. It's it's all that in a bag of chips. All the, all the hype you've ever heard is warranted. All the hate you've ever heard, they're full of shit. <clears throat> Not that I've heard any hate on it, but if they're talking to how this is awful, it's them. It's them. It's not the fragrance. Clematic, good to see you, Kevin. Welcome. Always good to see you. All genres bops. Wearing absolutely nothing. All right. All right. Go ahead. Probably can never afford these just by the name. So so here's the thing. Every time I see that argument from somebody, all you got to do is stop buying cheapies for a month and you can buy an expensive fragrance. <laughs> like the same people that say these things will spend $300 on a pile of cheap fragrances in a haul when you could have bought two really expensive ones if you wanted to get two expensive ones. You know what I mean? So you can afford it. It's a choice. It is a choice, my man. Good evening from Muscat Oman. Excellent. Good to see you. Fragrance Fraternity. So I saw this when the countdown was going. So I'm thinking Night Vision EDP based on this list. That's what I'm thinking. Hey, Ross, just D I'm DJing the night in Santa Monica. And for fun, I'll wear whatever you pick from the list. Night Vision EDP, 1 Million Lucky, Vanilla Vibes, Percival, Blue Electric, or Y EDP. I debated on Percival. Then I debated on 1 Million Lucky. And I was like, you know what? Screw it. Night Vision EDP. It's powerful. It's sweet. It's spicy. It's creamy. It's got all the things I would say is good about everything else in that list is in Night Vision EDP. So Spice Bomb Night Vision EDP is what I would roll with. I hope you get many a comp compliments when people are coming request songs. <laughs> and I hope you have an awesome time tonight. Joel, good to see you. Good evening from Kuwait. Good to see you. I appreciate you being here. Prada Luna Rosa Carbon, one of the best versatile fragrances they've ever put out. Indeed, my friend. Jean Lo Immortal, the Lemonsite clone. Contrell, what's going on, my man? Soli Daitali. Ooh, that's a good one. That's such a good one. 9 p.m. Absolutely awesome. Totally agree, Josh. Totally agree. Terry Mills Ojivre is like Pringles. Once you pop, you can't stop. I like that. That's a that's a good way to put that. I like that. Because I had four sprays on, and we had like five more minutes before we went live, and I just gave myself another two sprays behind the neck. Just kind of lift that opening. So I'm all it this literally happened, I don't know, eight minutes ago, maybe. So it's I'm just Fresh sillage, fresh opening. It's great. Scent of the day, black anabas. See, that's that's in the range of what these cost. There you go. You can't afford it. See, I told you. <laughs> Excellent choice, by the way. Like button slapped. How we doing, Nick? I can't complain. It's It's been a good day so far. We've got 53 so far in the chat, 26 likes, about half. Hit that thumbs up for me as you come in, guys, if you don't mind. Send of the day, Coco Loco. That is hilarious. I literally gave some jackass in, on Tro Grant to go hard time. Uh, for those of you that follow me on Instagram, you have you saw the send of the the, uh, the story post. Literally, somebody put I blurred out his name since he didn't say my name directly when he's clearly talking about me. That uh, let me read it to you guys. Huh? Screw it, let's pull it up. Let's have a little fun because you know I'm not allowed to clap back on anybody. I'm just not. It's just terrible of me to have people talk shit about me and I say things back. I'm just. Awful, awful person for that. Why is it not going to my page? Go to my page. There we go. So let's uh, let's do the screen share, and then we'll dive a little further, look at sin of the days and stuff like that. So I'm not going to unmute it because it'll get me a copyright strike. But so feel free to read that, guys. Some YouTube reviewers are ranting and raving about this. Friend. He's talking about Coco Loco, by the way. Because they get free bottles and they're friends with the owner of the brand. I encourage you, sample before buying. You can't trust these reviewers. So I put, yep, you nailed it. It's not great. I'm just saying it. Nice scent of the day, by the way, which as you can see, he's wearing Coco Loco. 
So this is one of the main reasons I call it Troll Grantica. Then I tagged for Grantica, be better. And the song is Zero Use a Bitch. So that's me having a little bit of fun. And I'm sure this will get clipped and put on the jerks and they can suck a big bag of dicks too. But anyways, on to it. Having a little fun today. You know, I'm, I'm feeling feeling frisky, I guess you could say. But you are wearing an excellent fragrance today, sir. Vanilla Oud in the air. Oh, yeah. Wow is such a great word to throw in there. It is absolutely stunning. Like I've said before, one of the best fragrances I have ever put my nose on. Yeah, I get that, Ross. By the time I've saved up, I end up using the money on something else. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's, a, it's all a choice. It's all a choice, you know. Evening from London, Ricardo, good to see you. Aqua de Joe, absolutely. I wore that recently. Uh, was it last week? I think it was last week. Just bought City. At, I got it right here. I'm excited. I have seen the notes. It's his tropical release. I'm super excited about St. John. There's a chance for this to dethrone New Orleans as my favorite from the house. Because I really like Miami Tropical Confessions a lot. But it wasn't, it didn't overtake New Orleans for my as my favorite. Night vision. There we go. Hey, roll with it. Loam all team. Excellent stuff. Hearts and daggers from Ed Hardy. You still at the gym, Dan? I saw you post on your stories a minute ago. Center of the day. Hunter intense. I never tried it. Number one, 2023 bangers and everyone that, that belong in everyone's collection. Coco Loco, coconut daiquiri, city rhythm, St. John, scent journey cocktails. Okay. That's quite the list. That's quite the, I haven't tried St. John yet, but the other three are phenomenal for the summer. Absolutely phenomenal fragrances. Ulysses Wood. I have a decan of that. Shout out to Michael Densmore. He sent me that years ago. Nice and spicy. It's a, let's see, center of the day, Emirate V nut V08, geranium and lime bomb. Okay. Polar Red EDP. That's my favorite version of Polar Red personally. Wood Sage and Sea Salt. Okay. Sent from a hike was Ogivre. I mean, you can't go wrong there. Uh, cause I don't know. People just don't want to, some people just don't want to like me. Uh, apparently my personality is fake. I'm not really being me. I'm just a salesman. That's yada, yada insert insult here. I've heard it all control. <laughs> I've heard it all, man. Trust me. It's ridiculous. Debating what to wear in a bit. I'm just a giant shill. I don't say anything unless it was free or I got paid. It's, it's like I said, insert insult here. And I've heard it all. I've heard it all. Debating on what to wear in a bit. Best performer and scent profile from Sphinx. They all perform great. It, it's, you can't go wrong with any of them. They all, they're all strong and long lasting. Scent profile, that's super subjective. That's up to you. I would suggest getting the discovery set uh, because I'm not going to pick your favorite for you. Uh, my favorites would be the two newest ones, Horchata de Vani. Coconut daiquiri and then black anabis and sphinx elixir. That's my four favorites for me to wear on my skin personally. Hello from Saudi Arabia. Good to see you, sir. I agree completely, Ricardo. Wearing Mega Mare. You like that, huh? Ha ah, they can suck those deeds. Absolutely. That's some saying. And look, it's gonna be blown out of proportion because I did this by all the trolls and the bitches in the community. Because I'm supposed to just take it all the time. And look, that's nothing super bad or nothing. I just thought it was funny. I was like, ah, let me let me poke back at this asshole a little bit. Because the reason it's funny is he's saying that while his sin of the day is the fragrance he's telling you not to trust me about. I'm only saying that because it's free and George is my friend. While he's wearing it. You understand the irony there, guys? <laughs> it's What? Dick? Anyways, Boz, good to see you. Dedrick was getting some crap, too. Some guy saying he only liked it because he got it for free. Dedrick bought that bottle. I don't know what this asshole is talking about. Dedrick bought that fragrance. That's what I'm saying. It's, it's a small group of little dickless weasels that do this on the Internet. And I'm sorry for the cursing and stuff because I really want to talk about these fragrances and not that not get shadowed into it. But, guys, it's It's ridiculous. There's no accountability with anonymous profiles. And that's what I'm saying. Dickless weasels. That's a good way to put them because, you know, they just want to bash. And I mean, if any of you have ever tried any, any of the stuff from Zaharoff, um, you know, it's all quality and original stuff. It's all made from scratch. It's highly great, highly sourced, um, super expensive raw materials to make the, uh, to, to make the 
the fragrances that Claude creates for George, the packaging, it's all custom. You know what I mean? It's any of you that heard my episode with the Cologne podcast with Mike and Ryan, there was a good point. It was like, they want you to stay the garage band and never get a record deal. Everybody loves the off when he had one fragrance. Then he got successful and he started doing Zed creators. So now there's this, like I said, this little group, this little group of people that want to bash the majority. It's very small percentage. Just like when like control was asking about the haters for me. It's a small percentage. It really is. It's a small percentage. But like Mike, Ryan, Mike and Ryan said in the Cologne podcast episode I did with them, it's the hate's always louder than the love. Because for every one dick, there's 10 that don't feel that way, but that one's going to be louder than those 10. See what I'm saying? So, But enough of that. We stayed on that long enough. But I appreciate you asking, and for those of you who are green and stuff like that. Grassland from a bike ride. Vintage green out the shower. Somebody's feeling the Banana Republic fragrances today. Excellent. That's two good ones. That's two of the arguably the best ones they've put out. I know it's early on the live, but that main event for Collision is going to be fire, and that Jey Uso face turn officially. Yeah. Insert, insert main event Jey Uso character arc. That was great last night. That was great. 2023, the year of the coconut. That's fair. That is fair, Nick, because this has got coconut. This is Niles' second release in a row that's got coconut. So, send of the day, Citrine, about to run some errands and see if my Sephora has an OG to sample. Yes, please get your nose on that, Ethan. Metal Rain's really good. It's a good take on uh, Silver Mountain Water. Cerruti 1881. I've, I've been wanting to get around to that one. Good evening from Scotland, wearing Oceania. Hope you're good. I am I'm great today. I'm having a great day, actually. And I appreciate you being here, and you are wearing probably the most versatile fragrance they've ever put out. Besides, I would say Isola Blue slash Oligarch is more versatile. Oceania is better for summer, obviously, but it's so good for summer. It's so good. Hugo Boss, the scent. Boucheron EDP, you should review it. An amazing old school scent. Cool guy, and I like the info you give Ricardo. I appreciate that, sir. Thank you, my man. My vanilla oud is here. Best 111 bucks I've spent in a while. Well, there was the one stripper in Vegas. <laughs> there you go. I'm glad you enjoy it. I mean, I, I can't imagine anybody not liking. Look, it's not a mass appealing fragrance, but boy, for what it is, it's phenomenal. What do you think of Boho Boco Sea Salt Caramel? Is it a good? I've never even heard of that. I have never even heard of that, unfortunately. Sin of the day, who cares? So dang hot in Houston, I'm going to sweat on anything I put on. I'm sorry, Anthony. I feel your pain, man. Who are we talking about here? Oh, we were talking about the, like, part of it was about the jerks, but that was from Fragrantica. That's on the Coco Loco page that went up in the last couple of days. I just happened to go see that it was on there, and I read some... And I read that comment. I was like, wow, look at this dude taking a subtle, you know, shill shot at me. So let's blast him a little bit. You know, why not? And I covered his name because he didn't say my name directly, but he's clearly talking about me. So I'm having a little fun with it. And if he gets offended, eh, fuck you. You shouldn't have wrote that on the Internet about me. So <clears throat> Loam Ideal Cologne. Some guy says, don't buy this while he's wearing it. That's great. That's exactly my point. He wrote it on the 13th. Today's the 17th. He just... I just happened to see it the day that he put that that's his sin of the day. I, coincidence. It's very coincidental, but it's it's hilarious. It's a happy coincidence. It's absolutely hilarious that I see that he says that and he's wearing it. Yeah, I'm sure you hate it, asshole. Yeah, I don't know what I'm talking about. Sometimes you got to take off silk gloves, as they say here in Norway. And look, I don't clap back all the time, but I get flack every time I do. If I make a shorts video or whatever. I get flack every time. Like I've told you guys before, I'm supposed to just bend over, take it, say, thank you. Can I please have some more? That's what's expected of me. I'm not that guy. I'm not the rest of them on YouTube. I'm not going to sit here and just, just not say something all the time. Once in a while, I say something. Can't make that up, right? I was looking at a car salesman slag the other day. Thought about you. It's a whole new dictionary. There you go. <laughs> but it's too funny for sure. Tell the haters to hate harder. Fuck them. Ain't hurting me. If your life depended on it and 50 random people had to like the fragrance and smell it radiating off of your skin, what would you choose from Sphinx? It's probably Sphinx Elixir. 
just going off of because it's my favorite because the way you present yourself is going to add to it. It's not just the aroma. It's your overall aura and the way you're conducting yourself because the fragrance is just the cherry on top, you know. So I would say because that one probably puts me in the best mood. And it's got a lot of density to it. It's very rich, rosy, oud, incense, stuff like that. I, I would say something like that. It's very unique. I would go with Sphinx Elixir then. Light blue, oh, intense. And Aqua de Parma sends a summer magic. I can imagine. Scent of the day is Renaissance. I'm going to get that this summer. Theory with the 999 Super Chat. Man, thank you so much. Thank you for being authentic. We'll definitely follow you forever. Man, I, I appreciate you. That's one thing you're going to get on this channel that is kind of unique to me is I let my tongue fly. I don't give a fuck. Like uh, Joel, we, we, in yesterday's live chat, he's like, you've changed a little bit as well. I don't care what people think about me anymore. I stopped caring a while back. That's why these live streams, which I wasn't doing live streams back then. I was worried about what people would think, you know, um, I don't care. I don't care. I would like to thank those that like me. That's one of the many, one of the reasons they really like me is because I'm authentic. You're getting who you would get if this wasn't a camera and you were standing next to me. This is what you would get. This is who I am. Love me. Hate me for better, for worse. I am unapologetically Ross also known on the internet as TLTG Reviews. So I thank you very much for the love and support, the kind words, and for the super chat, sir. I greatly appreciate it. Actually, nothing wrong with that. Hey, I'm with you. You're a genuine guy, and that's how it is, and I like that. I appreciate that. Look, will my personality turn some people off? I'm positive of it, but it's what it is. It's just what it is, and that's not a pun. There we go. A-O. Cherry Blues from Central Obsession, Lost Cherry Mixed with Jazz Club. I bet that one's pretty good. Need to try Solo Blue. After, yeah, that's the only one I've ever given a 10 in an individual review. It's the first one. I bet you it's good stuff, Emery. I hope you enjoy it. I don't have any experience with Petit Matin. Sicily's phenomenal. Let me get to a couple of these real quick. Chad, you are bald and pure sexiness. Well, I would echo that same sentiment to you, sir. Thank you for the $2 Canadian, eh? I appreciate you. <laughs> good to see you, Chad. I hope you're having a good weekend. So let's see. We got a new member to the squad. Let's see what Terry ended up with, with the elite family members. I appreciate you, man. Welcome. Welcome to the channel membership. Welcome to the family. Absolutely. You're about to see a bunch of people using the custom emojis. Haha, uh -huh, what an idiot. That's Justin, by the way. Because <laughs> I sent him the screenshots. That's hilarious. So. This is the most down-earth fragrance stream I've been on yet. Kudos. I appreciate that, boss. Thank you, man. Thank you, guys. Seriously. So with that said, we're, we're to the bottom. Icon racing today. Hey, it's right here. I filmed that video before the gym. And when I got back from the gym, I put my hat back on. I was not going sweating this hat. <clears throat> but excellent, excellent choice, my man. St. Bart's and Tahitian. I haven't wore Tahitian waters in a while. That is, I always forget about that one. That is such an underrated, sweet, tropical fragrance. Coconut, Lang Lang. It's brown sugar, of all things. When was the last time? I, I don't know of any other brown sugar. For, excuse me, brown sugar fragrances. That's rare, right? Uh, so with that, let's see. This is why I like you and Justin always keeping 100. Yeah, I saw Justin was live this morning, too. I popped in for a minute before the gym. Um, let's let's go ahead and jump into this. I have all the color caps back in stock on Zaharoff. I ordered a yellow. Well, there you go. I mean, ordered St. John today. So let's start with that one. I'm super excited. Here, here's the card. City Rhythm St. John. I'm guessing it's Usvi. Usvi is how you say that. The Love City. Here's the card that comes with it. Super excited. Th just, just this top. If this top note, this top doesn't get you excited, I don't know what else will about it. Guava quince, lime, and coconut pulp. Let me say that again. Guava quince, which gives this like mouth smacking lip puckering type of uh freshness watery tone with lime and coconut pulp which is going to be kind of a fleshy coconut it's not going to be watery not going to be milky hearts lavender passion fruit more tropical fruits here and cane sugar base is sandalwood rum ambergris and vanilla so just from the tropical side of things the entire top and passion fruit this is going to be extremely tropical According to the brand, St. John embodies a true tropical island feel, not like other commercialized, tourist-driven destinations. I was so inspired by it in 2015 that it propelled me into a deeper dive 
into the creative process of perfumery. I took classes and gained insight from experienced artisanal and indie perfumers in order to zone in on the tropical sector of perfumery. It was no easy task, but it was worth every minute. My goal to create a fragrance from start to finish that transports you to an island of paradise was unrelenting. The feeling of standing barefoot on warm soil and biting into sun-ripened fruit fresh from a tree brought my heart to a place of cherished memories of my late father and I and felt like home to me. The fruit-filled tropical breezes are captured in every bottle for you to enjoy. The vision is mine, but the journey is yours. Signed by Niles. There you go. So that comes with every single one. Here is the standard presentation. The color has changed, though. It's more of a copper color now versus the gold even has the orange right here on the pull tab. So he's switching the game up a little bit. Love that the color has changed for this. And there is a little kind of necklace beach vibe necklace to put on the bottle with the St. John Island right there, which I'm not going to put that on the bottle. Um, I mean, I'll show it to you guys real quick on the bottle, but as far as um, leaving it on long-term, I'm not going to leave it on long-term, but it's meant to be a necklace around the bottle. Give it the focus. There you go. St. John Usi. Usvi. I believe is how you say that. So I left my arms available for a reason. Let's try this out. So for those of you that didn't know, his last couple of releases, he's changed his atomizer. See how it's pressure sensitive? Give me a moment. I can taste it. God, it's so strong. I can taste it. Give me a moment. I don't want to convey my thoughts yet. It's so strong. It's just out now. I don't even have to bring my hand to my face yet. I get a lot of coconut, lime, guava, and lavender. Kind of a cloying lavender. It's strong. <laughs> it's sugary, but there's also a little salty feel to this. So juicy, it got juicy really quick. Very, very juicy fruit smell. That might be the alcohol that I'm thinking is a little salty. Could be just coming off of my skin that way because it's really, really dense and strong. I need to give that a second. Plus those two big sprays in the air, it's literally suffocating the airspace around me. Let me give it a second. So let me get the focus back. Come on. Refocus. Refocus. Maybe if I use the bottle. Bring it back. There we go. <laughs> I to get the focus back. So, Rockin' St. Bart's Tahitian Water. Okay. Kyla, good to see you. Ross has haters because they're so jealous losers and they have nothing going for them. Do you, still, do you think Bill Gates goes on the internet and trolls? Valid point. I've said it before. I'll say it again. Happy and successful people don't behave this way on the internet. Fact. They're delusional. They don't realize they're miserable. They don't realize they're jealous. Jealous people get mad when you tell them they're jealous because they don't realize they're jealous. Miserable and happy people get mad when you tell them they're miserable, miserable and unhappy because they don't realize they're miserable and unhappy. That is a fact. And they'll get mad. They'll clip this and put it and see what he thinks and whatever. Truth hurts, right? But thank you, Kyler. Oh, yeah, it was the alcohol. So... There's a little bit of a creaminess to it, but it's mostly juicy fruit. Very, like, not necessarily cooling, but there's a sweetness to it, but it's not overly sweet. Like, I know sugar cane's one of the notes here, but it's not overly sweet. The guava's kind of taking the lead. I would say the main things I'm getting away from getting with this is the guava. The passion fruit's not taking over. But there's, there's, I think that's what's making it so juicy fruit is the lime, is the passion fruit. It's just the amalgamation and combination of the group of fruits here. Now, I don't know if it'll be more when it dries, but I definitely don't get any rum. This is so good. I'll tell you what, it has been a two week stretch of just phenomenal vacation fragrances. It's unreal. It's un I've never seen anything like this. The stretch of fragrances that we've gotten that are just perfect 
summer vacation in a bottle type of fragrances because it's been void. We've had so many aquatics come out, but the tropical stuff, we're getting a run on it right now of quality stuff to niche tropical fragrances. It hasn't just been designer stuff, which I would, you know, I say that, but Boss Bottle Pacific came out. That's got a tropical feel because of the coconut and the salty accord and everything. It's, that's a tropical fragrance, but with tropical fruits at the forefront, there's been a little bit of a void of that, and, and that void's getting filled in a hurry. This is phenomenal. The lavender, I thought, was being cloying at first, but I think it was just I was still getting a lot of the alcohol. I get a lot of guava here. Smells like a lot of guava. Very fruity and juicy. Oh, what else we got going on here? Cane sugar is a little sweet. Sandalwood, rum, ambergris, vanilla. I would think that base isn't going to come out for a while because it's just overran with fruits. We're going to let this dry down a little bit, but the opening is phenomenal here. And by the way, I did forget to mention this is a private blend. Here you can see it says Privé Blend. So it is for sale. You can get 10 ml, 100 ml, and 50 ml. The 10 ml is 31 before the 7% off code that's in the description. Here we go. It did it again. Pull the focus back. I don't know why the focus keeps getting stuck. It's that lip smacking type of feel. That's got to be the quince, that tart feel. Phenomenal. Let's let that dry a little bit. Because I want to see what's going to happen with getting into the dry down. We're about to jump into Mesan Daba Sovereign. So they reached out to me recently with a very well thought out email. I have to say for a brand new company, niche company, this is their only fragrance. It was a well thought out email. A few paragraphs explaining where they're coming from. You can tell they've actually checked out the content and know who I am. They didn't just say, oh, look, some guy with subscribers that talks about fragrances. Let's see if he'll take our fragrance because sometimes that happens. It was well thought out. I was so impressed by the initial email from this company that I pretty much wasn't going to say no because I, I even commend, I commended them in my reply with how well thought out that email was. It's very heartfelt and, and sincere and just everything. They, they, they did a really good job with explaining themselves, who they are, where they're coming from, the company values, everything. All about we can take it, to, you know, we understand how you operate. We can take it to sp speak the way you speak, all that. I was like, that's the kind of stuff I like to hear. I don't want to have to tell you it's going to be the way I go. They, they get it. So with that said, I looked at the fragrance and very familiar box and bottles. I got to say, um, you'll see in a second, but I don't remember the notes, but I remember seeing it and getting a little excited and saying, this seems a little on the unique side and I know it's going to be quality. So I'm actually pretty excited to check this out and give these people a shot. So let me catch up on a few comments and then we'll jump into that. Ralph Lauren, uh, I'm assuming Ralph's club parfum. Thank you, sir. It's been hot as hell, but pretty good. Otherwise, same thing, Nick. Okay. Of course, of course I am. That's why we're doing the live stream earlier in the day. There we go. Indeed, Kyle there. Hello, sore losers. Yeah. I don't sweat them. Theory's in, theory done joined up. All right, my man, let's see what we got here. What, what, let me see where you're at. Uh oh, I see the king of the super chats in there with a super chat. We'll get to that in just a second. All-star level. There you go. All right, you're in for the, some of the giveaways. So there's actually going to be three spins this month. We'll touch on that real quick. Um, so the first spin, first prize is a 50 ml of Tom Ford Costa Azura Eau de Parfum from the Signature Line. Second prize is a bottle of Rubroca Theorem, which is a subsidiary brand of Afnon, kind of smells like Bulgari's Tigar. And then the third spin is going to be a mystery box full of random clone fragrances. Uh, I've already got the box picked out, and it's, it's a lot of fragrances. A lot of smaller bottles, but a ton of them. I'm going to do a spin this month and a spin next month because I'm moving in like six weeks. So cutting back a little bit on stuff that I don't reach for to rehome for you guys to hopefully put some better use to. Is going to be a good thing. So there's three spins for the tier that you jumped in at, sir. Welcome to the family. Aqua Wood. Maceration Aqua Wood. I, I think you meant Mancera, and it auto-corrected you. But, uh, yeah, Aqua Wood's phenomenal. Good to see you, Jared. Good to see you. Okay, Mancera, yeah. When I saw Aqua Wood, I immediately thought that. 
of the family. Yeah, I, I love when we get a new member and everybody starts firing away the custom emojis. I appreciate that. I was right. It's not as I'm fucking. I'm in the West and Texas. Yeah, Texas is always hot, man. Let's see, Jared. Rock and Lyric Man today. I still need to get a bottle of that. They're sold out on Fragrance Buy. I want to scoop it up from them. 100 plus in the chat. Yeah, we got 108 right now. 71 likes. If you don't mind, as you're coming in, hit that thumbs up for me, guys. Okay. I think I might have to get all my new vacation fragrances within the last few weeks. It's been left and right phenomenal. The booze is coming out a little more. So we are start starting to get a little rum as it settles, but it's still mostly about the fruits. So this one, because it's such a high oil concentration, I'm pretty confident he's still doing 50% oil, especially based on this sheen and the density of when I spray it in the air, that it's going to take a while to get into the dry down. The, the opening is going to last a really long time. All this tropical fruity wateriness that I'm getting, especially that guava, it's going to last a long time, super high oil concentration. So it takes a while to get into that dry down. But we'll revisit that in just a minute. Very unique fruit, part of the pear and apple family, hidden gem of notes. I agree. My, fav my fra favorite fragrance that prominently features it is My Greek Lover from Untamed Perfumes. It's got white grapes and quince in the top. Magnificent. Highly recommend My Greek Lover from Untamed Perfumes. That's amazing. Boz hanging there, man. Keep going. Don't forget to tip your bartender. Thank you, Joel. I feel like you beat Kyler to it. <laughs> Banger. I love it. Cool. I gotta have that one, mate. Oh, hex now. Chat, stop the show. LMAO. We're better than this, people. Less than 50. Oh, so I'm I'm way behind. So I apologize, guys. I'm gonna catch some members on the way down, but I gotta skip ahead because I was talking about the fragrance, so I got behind. Hit that like button. Exactly. Internet trolling is for messed up people. I agree completely. Hmm, something very similar. Uh, that would be a great substitute is Halloween Man Hero. It's more soapy because it's lavender instead of violet, but it's very close. Halloween Man Hero, and you can get it for a really good price. Really, really affordable. I do. It's in the same vein of a, a Virgin Island Water. Now, I'm talking Miami Tropical Seduction, the first release. It's in the same vein as Virgin Island Water with more earthy florals like Osmanthus really stands out in there. Like it walks the path kind of parallel. It's not walking the same path. It's walking parallel to the path Virgin Island Water walks. Because uh, it's got a lot of the same core notes, but subtle nuances to change the fragrance, I guess you could say. And it's way stronger. Way stronger. That one's 50% oil concentration, too. I have not. I like the bottles, though. Sugarcane has more of a fresh-cut apple smell for me. How's the quality of the fragrances from Navitus? Couldn't tell you. Never smelled a single one. What's up, Ross? Trying to decide between Coco Loco and Coconut Daiquiri. Can only grab one. Which do you enjoy more? I'm not going to make that decision for you, my man. <clears throat> That's a tough one that you got to figure out. I'm not going to pick one over the other because I really enjoy both a lot. I'm friends with both. I'm not picking one either way. That's a decision you just have to make. Sorry, I'm not going to be helpful in this situation, but I'm, I'm not going to make that buying decision for you. You got to figure out which one you like more, which one sounds more attractive to you, basically. Summer vacation fragrances stay in the crib. <laughs> Spin the block. There you go. ROH double S wearing. Rosa Sloan, Volcanus, the king of the super chat. Wearing absolute. Excellent choice. As always, you are greatly appreciated for the super chat, sir. I can't thank you enough. You have been so generous over the last year. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I hope you have an awesome, awesome day. Great weekend. Nice to catch a stream live. Using the body spray and the fragrance make it last longer. Body spray and fragrance to what? Because I don't really get body sprays for anything, so I'm not really sure. Can you clarify a little bit more? Is there any Bald de Freak helps in the market better performance? I'm not really a fan of Bald de Freak, so I'm really not sure. I'm not a big fan of that fragrance. D. Volcanus King of the Super Chats. Vibrant Vetiver Delight. Top Chewy, three types of Chewy. Okay. Very interesting. What's good from PG County? Uh oh, living out there by EQ. That's what I'm talking about. Checking in. Enjoy the stream. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. It's erupting with Super Jets. Yeah, for sure. Grant's in the house wearing one more deep desire from Roberto Cavalli. It's been a while since I've been on YouTube. Coco Loco, center of the day. Excellent choice, my man. Uh, no, moving to Florida. Texas was backup plan. It was plan A was Florida, plan B was Texas. When plan A skyrocketed in cost of living, 
we were like, ah, we'll stick with plan B. And then they started to level out a little bit. It's still more expensive in Florida, but it's not as bad. So it's like, yeah, let's, let's do the beach. We did the mountains for almost three years. We don't want to be here. Let's go do the beach. Cause again, Texas is always plan B. We know we can always go back there because we're trying to find the spot where we want to buy our next house. Cause the la the only house we had was in Louisiana. We sold that to move to Texas, gave Texas a few years. Wife decided she wanted to be a little closer to her dad for a while. While we came out here, not big fans of being here. And that's why I was like, well, we can go back to Texas, but, Let's give the beach a shot. I've always wanted to do the Florida thing. And when she got on board, I was like, hmm, we're moving to the beach. Absolutely. When the wife gets on board, you got to strike while the iron's hot, you know? <sighs> Number one, that's tough. I think, believe it or not, is going to be the cheapie that is St. Bart's. I'm, I'm a huge supporter of Tommy Bahama St. Bart's. I always have been. It's awesome. It just is. It smells like a margarita. Where everything else smells like pina coladas, that smells like a freaking margarita. I love it. I have. I shared their uh, shorts, their uh, real video on Instagram that they put out last week to announce it. I don't know how much more intense red tobacco can get, but yeah, it's coming. Holy man shot. Would you say the success of LeBeau has sparked new tropical fragrances? Quite possibly. I know that's not what inspired George, and I don't think that's what's inspired Sphinx and Neeb either. Uh but I mean, I can't say because because this isn't designers that we're talking about. These are these are niche brand, it, smaller indie niche brands. Um, so based on the ones we're talking about, I would say no. But from a designer standpoint, if you were to see more designer tropical fragrances, I would say yes. Like Boss Bottle Pacific, that's a possibility. I don't know. But as far as stuff like this, Coco Loco, Coconut Daiquiri, no, no, because they they don't walk even remotely the same path. The only note they really share is the coconut. So I'm going to scroll down a little bit. Elysium Pour Ohm smells great. I have to travel and need to get myself a full bottle. I still think Elysium Parfum Pour Ohm is the best of the three. I wore O Intense earlier this week. Uh, it's my second favorite. I like it more than, than the Parfum Cologne, believe it or not. Which, it's polarizing. Not everybody's going to agree with me on that. But I, I just like that sour rhubarb at the top. I like the opening. I could see where some people wouldn't, though. If I smell similar to Santal, no, because I don't like Santal 33. I wouldn't have anything to do with Defy EDP. Um, I don't find that they're even remotely similar. Nose on Loam Ideal yet. The new one, no, no, not the new one. But I've heard from enough people that it's kind of almost the same exact fragrance as the Cologne Flanker that I'm just, I'm not worried about it. I live in Corpus Christi. We have a beach here. Yes, you do. Where in Florida? I'm in Orlando. Panhandle. Going to the Panhandle. Compliment magnets. You love the beach lifestyle in the free country of Florida. Well, free state. You're saying your own motto wrong. <laughs> it's the free state of Florida is what they say. <laughs> you will love living by the beach. I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. We put our deposit down today. Got to prove we did all the paperwork and everything this morning. So, Because the wife went like two weeks ago. She went down there, checked out our, our number one ended up being where we went of our top five. But let's go ahead and jump into Sovereign from Maison Daba, a new niche brand. Like I said, you guys are going to see a strong similarity to a very specific fragrance brand, which I'm assuming you could figure that out based on the box. Look familiar. The cap's not the same, but so it's basically... The Montebacco, the Ormond Jane caps, same bottle as the Nishane 100 ml and the Roger Parfums 100 ml because they're all just stock bottles. They're not their own bottles. But heavy. And this is actually plastic. I'm disappointed. I thought it was going to be metal. It's plastic. So not the same quality as the Ormond Jane when it's the same mold, but it's plastic through and through instead of metal with a plastic filling. So a little disappointed. Looks cool, but it's a cheap ass cap. Disappointed in that. The bottle's hefty. And I like the look of the label. It's a parfum. You can have a little sticker on the bottom. 100 ml parfum. Let's give it a spray. I I have small hands, so I'm not a fan of these these bottles. Let me get the focus back over here. There we go. Ooh, good atomizer. Whew. 
fresh but animalic. Now I remember why I was excited about it. Like a oud leather animalistic tone with some citruses. Now I remember why I was excited about it. And a little bit of rose, but it's still so fresh. That now I remember why I was excited. It's a fresh animalic. Oh, quality too. I got to give it to him. It is quality. The cap's not, but the fragrance is. I put this in the category of wearable animalics in warmer weather of like Oud Immortel from Byredo because that's limoncello and Oud, the main things. It's an animalistic Oud. I don't think this would be best in the highest of heat, indoors in the summer, evenings in the summer, and then spring, fall, winter, certainly, anytime. Smells like saffron. Saffron, leather, oud. I want to say a little rose and some citruses, but I can't tell what citrus. Let's pull it up. I got their website pulled. Here's their one fragrance that they have so far. Gender neutral fragrance that exudes confidence and poise. This is this is serious. 180 for the 100 ml samples, 10 bucks. I don't have a code or anything. I emailed them asking if there's any discount codes. So I'll add it to the description if uh, if I end up seeing one. Only disappointment so far has been the cap. It looks cool, but it's made of plastic. Introduced in Sovereign by Maison Daba, a unisex fragrance that embodies luxury and sophistication. Crafted with a combination of art and science, these, this exquisite unisex fragrance embodies opulence and spirituality. A unisex fragrance and perfect for anyone who appreciates finer things in life, indulge in the luxury of sovereign and elevate your senses with exotic top notes of coconut, rum, peach, mandarin, orange, and agarwood, warm heart notes of tobacco, tonka bean, gardenia, jasmine, ambergris, orris, and a woody base of Chinese cedar, vanilla sand, vanilla sandalwood, and labdanum. So the labdanum is what's giving me this leathery facet, but that tobacco is very dry, very, very dry. And adds to this animalistic touch because it's earthy and dry. But the agarwood, the oud, is dry as well. But it's then you have this, this booze and all these fruits that kind of add that juicy freshness that I was talking about. This is fantastic. Sandalwood's coming in a little bit. I do get a little bit of sandalwood. This is a great first outing, I have to say. This is a great first outing. It has the Middle Eastern feel, but it's luxury. This is definitely like them using that word is very fitting. It does have a sophistication and class to this. This is a much more serious fragrance. It doesn't come across as all that casual to me. This is impressive. This makes a bit of a statement. This is pronounced. This is a very pronounced, assertive statement without being overly aggressive, but it's assertive, I think, is a good word for this. It's an assertive scent profile. It, it's commanding attention. This is a great first outing. I have to say, they only have one review so far. Recently had the pleasure of trying out the exquisite fragrances offered by Maison Daba, and I must say I was truly enchanted by the entire experience with three thumbs up. It's the only written review. I got to say, it's pretty damn impressive. I'm not shocked. I, I remember being excited about it. And now I remember why, because it had all of that going on for it. I do get a little bit of the coconut now that it's settling. But it's it's much more citrus fruity, like just fresh, fresh and juicy type of feel with a dry woodiness, a leathery facet, and this earthy animalistic tone. Like it's a wheat, like I'm getting a lot going on here, and it's pretty easy to pick out a lot of different things. They kind of really stand out. But it also is a little on the unique side. It's not super boozy. I do get a little bit of the rum. But like the peach doesn't really jump out at me. 
It's probably the lime that I'm getting because I get a, more of a citrus smell than a fruity smell. And that sandalwood's definitely coming in more and more. It's getting a little creamy woody. It's helping. So like the dryness is early. Still a little on the dry side, but not greatly. And it's not overwhelming. It's strong. It's present, but it's airy. It's a great first outing. We're going to let that dry a little bit. We're going to revisit St. John now that it's had time to dry. Let's see. Oh, I got way behind. All right. You love the beach lifestyle for you. Okay. Loam Sport. Any fragrance you know is similar? I haven't smelled that in a long time. Long time. It's not since I worked at Jaguar Land Rover. It's been a few years. Possibly. Possibly. I'm going to revamp everything. My family in Florida. There you go. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's all stock bottles. Those are just colored glass. This is not. That's what I'm saying. They're stock bottles, but they put their own little twist and touch to them. It's actually a clean look. A very clean look. The route they went. Only disappointing thing is the cap's plastic. I would I would have expected metal here. I'd love to live in Orlando during the winter. I hate cold weather. I'm an old ass dude. There you go. Spencer, good to see you wearing Amaf Aura Fresh. Nice clone of Versace Mano Fresh. I know you like Camera, but I found one closer. It's called Kiss Me. A ton of people have been talking about that one. I have so much that smells like Angel Share. I'm not even interested in getting any more, man. <laughs> I haven't tried that one. I bet it's good, though. I've seen the notes before. Latafa, I've never tried that one. By a chat, I was driving, so I couldn't respond to acknowledge the individuals. Good to see all of you, though. Like what Justin said, and it's being said often, the fragrance is an extra. Indeed, compliments, attraction, etc., come from the personality, or like Dedrick said, it's what you put out, you will get back. All of that is accurate. All of that is accurate. Fragrance is just, like you said, extra. It's a little piece of the presentation. How you conduct yourself always matters. Like I'm wearing a sleeveless Nike swim t-shirt with a flat bill hat. It doesn't take away from how I conduct myself. The way I choose to dress has absolutely nothing to do with my attitude, the way I speak, my just aura, my energy. Obviously, if I'm going to wear something like this, I'm not going to dress like this. I do try to put the fragrances in the appropriate settings, but this is actually what I'm wearing today. Totally works fine for the casual summer casual vibe that I'm going here. I got a summer casual fragrance as my scent of the day, which actually this would work perfectly for as well. Let's revisit St. John while we're at it. The booze is coming out more, and it is getting a little sweeter. St. John is so good. I'm not sure if I'm ready to dethrone New Orleans, though. I don't know if I'm ready to dethrone New Orleans. It's close. In the first impressions, I'm going to say no, but this is better than 2654. You guys know I love 2654. It's a blend of Miami Tropical Seduction and San Diego Pacific Sunset. That was my number three. This is now at minimum my number three. I'm going to immediately in first impressions put it in my top three. I don't know if it's re if I'm ready to dethrone New Orleans yet. I got to give this a full wearing. See what the wearing experience because the first impression is just sniffing off your hand. It's not the same as just living in the siage and going throughout your day. It's not the same experience. It's a similar experience, but it's not the same experience. So this is definitely better than 2654 San Diego alone and Miami Tropical Seduction alone. It's better than all three of those to me. So immediately it's up there in the upper echelon of Miami Tropical Confessions and New Orleans. That's my two favorites. This is now up there with those that makes the top three. Where it's going to fall in the three, I don't know. I just want to say in the first impressions, it immediately jumps into the top three. After I give it a full wearing, which I'll be able to, with it, probably next week's rotation, because I'm going to wear it probably tomorrow, I'll wear this. Um, I'll be able to give you guys more insight on where it falls for me because I know it's going to perform great. It is stout. God, it is strong. 
I feel like I'm getting more of the passion fruit because it's still juicy fruit, but it's much sweeter. Now, that could be a combination of things, vanilla and sugar cane mixing with all of that, but that guava smell has kind of dissipated, and it's still very fruity and sweet, but it's kind of a different fruity nuance. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just say it's got to be the passion fruit. Now that I've had time, look, I'm still not into the dry down. It's still early, but I'm going to tell you right now, this is at least an 8.5 out of 10. I think first impressions rating, that's a safe bet. Great bordering outstanding. This is an 8.5 out of 10 easily. This is so enjoyable to sniff on. So enjoyable. Let me give Niles the live stream hand clap. Excellent work. And this is drying into sandalwood more. I think this is a great first outing from them. This is an 8 out of 10. This is more situational. This is still quality. It's more airy than this one, believe it or not, because it's not as high of an oil concentration. This is probably in the 25 to 30% range. But there's a lot of it. I'm surprised at just how bright and airy this fragrance actually is, considering the notes. This is dressier. This is actually quite the diverse wardrobe right here. 8.5 and an 8 for the first impressions. Both great fragrances. This bordering outstanding. This straight up great. But this can be your dressier occasion. This can be the work fragrance. This can be the evenings. This is the day off. This is casual and can also be the work fragrance. And this is high heat. This is a lot of performance for high heat, though. Yeah, this is that jam. Two great, great outings. Immediately in the top three from City Rhythm. And I would say this is a great way to establish the brand. This is a, this is a, a good way to kind of set the tone for what the brand's going to be about. This was a great move, I think, for what the brand seems to be about with luxury and kind of being on the unique side of things. Because that scent profile is unique. I haven't smelled it anywhere else. Not that I can think of. <clears throat> so Burberry Hero. I haven't tried it. Not the Eau de Toilette. Yeah, Justin's all about challenging you. I call him, uh, I, I always mess with him and say, who are you criticizing today? What are we cr criticizing about today? Because um, he likes the critical thinking. And it's needed in the space. I'm all for it. No, I don't. Let's see, let me skip through. He said, I don't know exactly when. Uh, let's see when they're supposed to get in. I have tracking. EJ sent me tracking on Thursday. So let's see. Expected delivery Wednesday. So I get them Wednesday. And I'll film a first impressions on them. So the video will be out Thursday. So Thursday... I'm assuming it'll come out before I get a video out. Uh, so I would think beginning of the week, maybe. But yeah. There you go. So there's that. I love that Justin put a bunch of ha-has. That's funny. About my Instagram story. <laughs> we talked about it at the beginning of the stream. So I don't know. I, I I know they're fresh fragrances. He told me they're freshies. I know he made a post about the notes. I avoided it completely. I like to be as blind as possible, especially with Happy Land. I've been doing it for years. I don't want to break that trend. So we'll see. I'm very curious. Absolutely. So there's something really cool coming. It's not my place to tell you what he's got coming. But just know there's something you guys are going to be quite happy about. That's coming from, from Justin on his channel. So very soon. Caught you live at work. Well, I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're able to catch it. Diagolev has peach. Still waiting on that decant from a friend. That's breathtakingly good. It's way too expensive. That If they would have never sent me a bottle, I'd never have it. It's like $1,800 USD retail. Even at discounters, it's like 800 bucks or something like that. $800 USD. I would not have a bottle if the brand had not sent it to me. I'm just going to be, I've said it when I talked about it every time. Like I would not have this if they had not sent it to me. I would never pay this for a fragrance. Just me. I don't have that kind of disposable income where I can just spend eight, nine hundred dollars on a fragrance. A fragrance, I can't do that. <laughs> but 
with that said, it is special. It does smell of money. It does nuance like crazy, like crazy. I put that up there with the kind of complexity I get from Burlington 1819. That is worth the $300 you got to spend on it for sure. That's phenomenal. Diagolev, I'm confident. You, if you want to go on an olfactive ride, that's what I think you're going to get from Diagolev. It is phenomenal. I just can't say it's worth the money. I just can't because I, can, I would never spend that on a fragrance. But the fragrance itself, if you take price out of it, is phenomenal. It is absolutely phenomenal. Do a full wearing yet. My friend raves about Diagolev and he has a great nose. It, it's, like I said, phenomenal. Just crazy expensive. Here you go. Yeah, it's everybody that's tried it is going to have some overwhelmingly positive thing to say about it for sure. Absolutely. Absolute full of animalics, too. Really, really good. That's my favorite version. That's good stuff. I haven't. You, I got to say, you ask me about a lot of fragrances I haven't tried. I'm sorry I never have a good answer for you. You ask about a lot of stuff I haven't tried. <clears throat> Indeed. What's your top five city rhythm going? Uh, so, New Orleans Jazz and Booze. This which we're talking about here today, St. John Usvi, Usvi, I don't know how to say it, the new release, this, Miami Tropical Confessions, I would suggest 2654, and Austin. Some of you were like, what about Tempo? What about Manhattan? I get it. He asked me to recommend my top five. <laughs> That's my top five. There is no bad fragrance from them. Tempo is phenomenal, but it's not better to me than the five I listed. Cause I know some of you are going to bring up tempo in Manhattan for sure. And, and it's most popular sellers, Miami tropical seduction. The one I recommend of my top five is Miami tropical confessions. It's his last release before this one. It's a flanker to his original most popular seller. So I would say that that's the five St. John, new Orleans, 2654, Austin, and I drew a blank. 2654, Miami Tropical Confessions, St. John, Austin, and New Orleans. Okay, yeah, that's, that's the five. Eric, what's going on, my man? Late to the stream, my daughter's birthday party. Center of the day was La Bola Parfum. Enjoying on my first wearing. That's a great release. Our taste not completely the same, but I trust his recommendations. 10 4. Good Sheepers Arabian Oud from Diwan. Just pulled the trigger on Dahab and Hachivat. Okay. Dahab, super sweet. Be ready. That's super, super like thick, syrupy, fruity sweet. I think there's passion fruit in that one too, if I remember correctly. I got it. I got all the kajals. Um, I want to get Masa, the newest one. I'm pretty excited about that. That one looks like it's going to be phenomenal. The last two were great. Amaz and Ferris. That was a good pair of releases. Totally unisex. Amaz. Ferris, definitely masculine. Spicy aromatic, but I hope you like them. Hachivat, one of the if you like oak moss, you can't go wrong there. Let's see, by the way, just because performance is so important, I can still smell brass and soul in the air around me about 13 hours later. That includes 83 degree heat and sweating my nuts off. I like how you ended it that way. It's good. Stuff. The only reason I don't wear it is because. I don't want to go through it, and it's a special moment in time for me. That's why I don't hardly ever touch the siren and brass and soul. Now, second soul, <clears throat> and of the immortals, I have two bottles of. I can, whenever I feel like it, I'll spray it. Different with my two fragrances. I have multiple bottles of both of my fragrances: Business Over Pleasure and Evening Mystique. That's different. Uh, but as far as theirs, with the first round, I regret not getting two bottles of each. I regret, and that's why I told him second round. I don't. I'm I'm asking, but I'm also telling I'm getting two bottles this time, guys. And they laughed and they're like, well, yeah, of course you can have two bottles this time. So I said that because I told them that the reason I never touch your fragrances is because that's it. I have two ounces. I very rarely wear them because I have the shave sets and I want to spray the fragrances when I use this. So it makes me not use the shave sets that often because typically the only time you'll see me wear brass and soul or the siren is if I used the shave set. Because I'll use the soap, the splash, and then I'll do two or three sprays of the fragrance, and I'll enjoy it in the evening just for myself. Uh, but Brass and Soul, so good. So good if you like spicy aromatics. 
I literally talk about how good Ferris is from Kajal, Brass and Soul. Beautiful, spicy, aromatic, too. That was so good. That was such a good release. Indeed. As I said, promise to give me a sample of Diaghilev, but it takes time for sure. Justin versus Bane in a bottle of the intellectuals. <laughs> there you go. I'm going to live in the same country. <clears throat> Defy EDT. Boom. I literally talked about this in a video that I, I put out a few hours ago. I think it's underappreciated. If you don't like the aldehydes of Wyota Toilette, the original formula, the newer formula is more sweet vanilla. So if there's something off-putting about why you wanted to like it but you couldn't, this would be the way to go because it still has the sweet fruitiness. It still has that sage and ambergris feel to it, but it's more vetiver and woods in the dry down. This is in the same vein of YEDT without being the same fragrance. I think it's great. I think it's underrated. Very much underrated. It smells nothing like the Eau de Parfum. And based on the notes of the new Parfum, I'm sure that smells nothing like either of those, which I will get the Parfum. And then as far as CK1 Summer 2019, that is bright, zesty, and fresh. There's no such thing, in my opinion, as a bad CK1 Summer Flanker. Can't go wrong. You just got to know you're only going to get like two hours out of it. You know, It's built that way. It's built to be like that. Super fresh, short-lived. <clears throat> just got my Coco Loco today. Been looking into coconut daiquiri since that. Yeah, the Dad 25, for those of you that wanted to order from Sphinx. They have the Father's Day sale. How different. They are, they're quite different. Um, coconut daiquiri is watery citrus at the top that settles into a little hit of booze with some sweetness and some sweet florals. Hibiscus really stands out, sweet florals. Coco Loco is... Totally different set of fruits here. It's not citrus dominant. It's pear, pineapple, clementine. It's a totally different set of fruits here uh, with a bright spiciness from cardamom. And then it settles into a lightly floral heart with a lot of blonde cedar and creamy musk. And, of course, there's some sweetness and stuff like that. But it's, it's blonde cedar and creamy musk kind of dominate the dry down of the fragrance. So even though they both have coconut, they're quite different. <laughs> quite different. Like I would say maybe 20% similarity at best. And that's because of the coconut. Outside of that, they're very different fragrances. Dior Homme 2020, Costa Azura Parfum. Love that stuff. I haven't been spraying my bottle because I don't need to. I still just spray my decant. See, my decant's almost empty. I spray my decant all the time. I just pull the cap and sniff it. I, I Costa Azura Parfum grew on me a lot. I didn't really care for it a whole lot at first. Love it now. It had to grow on me, kind of like Dylan Blue. Had to grow on me. Camera, a good deal at 40 bucks. Yes, it is. That's a good price. Some of the prices are very high, even here in London. Yeah, some of them are just, just crazy, but they're not marketing to everybody. <laughs> you know, they're not marketed for the masses. It's a luxury item. John, good to see you. Sin of the Day, Legend EDP. That is my favorite version of Legend. I agree, it's crazy expensive. Yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> Lady Sephora gave me a sample of Polar Red Parfum. It's pretty good. Reminds me of Eros Flame and Paco Rabanne Phantom. Had a baby. So it is good. It just doesn't smell like polar red. That's my only beef. It's not polar red. It's a great fragrance. Absinthe, iris, stuff like that. It's fresh and a little powdery and floral. It's a great release. They just put it out in the wrong line. It does not smell like polar red at all. Not to me. Again, great fragrance. I want a bottle. It's just in the wrong bottle. It's a great release. It smells great. Just not polar red. Was your very tomorrow while out shopping? Try it; it's phenomenal. All the hype you've seen and heard is justified. It's super good for the summer. I just ordered a ten ml. There you go. Virgin Islands. How do you move fragrances from state to state without worrying about damage? I'm curious. This is why I keep the boxes because I wasn't sure if we were going to stay here long term when we moved here. Turns out we're not. <clears throat> Now, I'm confident that when we go to Florida, we're probably not moving out of the state. So I'm going to throw the boxes away when I'm setting everything up. I'm actually going to do shelving on the wall and stuff like that. Instead of just these shelving units, I'm actually going to put shelving going across the wall and use these as dis for certain display pieces. Like, I'm going to do a video of the new room with the collection and everything for you guys. I promised I would. And it's going to be a totally different setup. Totally different setup. Much bigger room, too. Much, much bigger room with two big-ass closets in the room and everything. Like, my new place is way more expensive than this place because we need the room. 
<clears throat> and we're living by the beach. It's going to be more expensive because of that. But cost of living is increasing, but quality of life's increasing a little bit. That's how you could look at it. You get, you're getting more for the money. But point being, um, you got to be very careful with it. There's no guarantees to anything. Uh, I would recommend putting your most expensive stuff in the back of one of the cars and securing the hell out of the boxes that are going to be in the moving truck. And like I said yesterday, nobody touches my fragrances. I touch them all. I pack them all. I load them all. I unload them all. I unpack them all. And it's a shitload of work. It's a pain in the ass. The boxes are heavy as hell. Just a like large flat rate box from UP, USPS from the post office full of fragrances is like freaking 30, 40 pounds. Carry two or three of those. It's hell. I mean, going upstairs and downstairs and all that stuff. It wear your ass out. It's a lot of work. When it's a ton of fragrances like I have. I'm sure you have quite a bit. But put all of it on yourself so in the event something happens, you won't be as mad because you're not going to get it mad as mad at yourself as you would at somebody else. Because it's out of your control if somebody else breaks something, drops something, stacks it wrong, and it slides off and a bunch of them break. And so it's tedious, but it's worth the hassle of doing it all yourself and securing it. If you think it, if you think there's even the slightest chance that it's not secure enough, do what you need to do to, to feel good about it. Like I know this is kind of long-winded and broad, but man, take it from a guy that is so OCD about transporting his fragrances. I don't even let my wife touch them. And there's nobody on this planet I trust more than my wife. Okay. I don't even let her help me pack. I'm just so this this is my livelihood. I do this is how we make our living. This is tax write-offs because when I buy these fragrances, because this is believe it or not, this is I'm um, 1099 through Google. <laughs> you know what I mean? So the, all of this matters. I was like that before I was full-time on YouTube with my fragrances, but even more now because I have a lot of expensive stuff. And I can't imagine having to rebuy and replace some of this stuff. It broke. It, it, it would just be so heartbreaking. I've been fortunate through the move so far to not have issue. Fingers crossed I have no issue this time, but it's not really a recommendation outside of you have to feel good with how it's packed and how it's placed and how it's stacked and how it's secured. Do whatever is going to make you feel confident and comfortable about the transportation. And if it seems like an extreme measure, just think about it this way. Would you rather the extra hassle for the extreme measure or would you rather the disappointment that comes with that box of fragrances dropping or that special fragrance that you can't believe? You just got it and you already broke the damn bottle. And to avoid that, go to the extreme to pack your stuff. I know that was long-winded, but... Because I'm about to go through that again. And it's nerve-wracking for me. So just know it's not going to not be nerve-wracking. You just got to gotta go the extra mile when it comes to packing your fragrances. You just do. Look at Big Beer Business. Look at Buck. 27 grand worth of fragrances missing. To let other people touch them. And I'm not saying he shouldn't have done that. It's just there's that risk. When they go in hands other than your own, there is risk involved. I believe he's got an insurance payout or, or they're reimbursing him or something like that. But still, it's 27 grand worth of fragrances he lost in this move. And that sucks. God, that sucks. We talked about it when I had him on the channel. And for those of you that didn't know, several weeks back, had him on the channel on a live stream. And, uh, and it was asked and he answered and everything to the audience. But it can be a nightmare if you allow it to be. Like I said, one last time and I'm going to move on. Do it all yourself it's tedious you're going to be exhausted from doing it and it's stressful but when you're unpacking all your shit and nothing got damaged you're going to that you did it that way rant over <laughs> <clears throat> gentlemen only the original continued to be an absolute piece of class masterpiece if no one knows it i used to wear that when i worked at mercedes and used to wear a suit all the time um gentlemen only was a go-to for me yeah, I, I think so. I like it more. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. You heard it here. I absolutely like it more. Just remembered a funny scene from a movie with Mark Wahlberg. Can't remember the name of it. He and a couple others trying to intimidate a guy, and he blasts Mark for wearing a vanilla fragrance. I don't remember that. 
Was that in that workout movie with him and The Rock? I forgot the name of it. Was it that? Hello from Argentina. Good to see you. Hello, Paula Ibizo and Salisimo Mermetto. Okay. Save my decants for trips. Ha ha. Yeah, but he's talking about moving. What's the Sphinx Father's Day code? Dad25. Dad25 will save you 25% off your purchase. And that does apply to Neeb's fragrance as well. Running out of it, I'm thinking and getting Legend. What are your thoughts on Legend? Haven't got so it's very salty. It still smells like Invictus. There's a complete shift in the notes. The bay leaf, the, the sea salt that they added, and amber dominate this fragrance. The Invictus DNA is in the background, but it's herbal green, super salty. It's a very salty fragrance, and it's warm, and it's loud. It is super strong. I believe it's discontinued. Don't quote me on that. I've heard that from people. I haven't heard it from Paco Rabanne, and even then I still wouldn't believe it because... Two years ago, Armani Beauty rep told me Profumo was discontinued, and that shit ended up not being true. So take that with a grain of salt. But from what I understand, it's discontinued. So sooner than later, if you're interested in getting it, because the prices will go up sooner than later, because Invictus Aqua 2018 prices have started to skyrocket. So keep that in mind. Hate to invoke a sense of urgency, but it's just going to get worse, you know? Never tried it. It's bestial. Interesting word. Summer iris suggestions. <sighs> I wish Dior would have never got rid of Dior Homme O. But Pratolome Low. I would say that immediately. Valentino Womo Aqua, if you can still find it for a good price, a tomato leaf soapy iris combo. It's still such a unique iris fragrance for the warm weather. It's still phenomenal to this day. Um, Valentino Womo Aqua, if you can get your hands on that one for a good price. Um, hmm. If Business Over Pleasure was available, I would say Business Over Pleasure, but it's not available. Let's see what else. What else? Let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Uh, one that works pretty well, Bentley Momentum uh, Intense. Not Intense. Um, unbreakable. It's a little on the green side. Green, woody, and iris heavy. Good year-round signature scent kind of thing, but pretty fresh. It'll, it'll work in the summertime. Uh, let's see what else. That's so much to look around through, and I got so much on the floor right there that I can't even see unless I do this, and I still can't see everything. But I'm going to go with those for now. That's the ones that come to mind. Yeah, that's true. I wanted to finish before Dedrick goes live. He's going live in 17 minutes, so we're going to shut it down here in just a second. So let me scroll ahead. i got to skip. By the way, you completely color-coordinated today, including the drink. I always color-coordinate. gets better. Pegasus Turbo Next Nature with the Zoom X phone. See, I color-coordinate from head to toe. Always have. It's my generation. Being from the South, having a little bit of hood in me, all that good stuff. Yeah. I color coordinate. I always will. What you see is what you're going to see when I'm an old man. I had somebody in my comments yesterday on my other channel say I had Peter Pan syndrome. And I looked it up and it's that I just can't grow up. Well, nice. Good job. I'm sure your life is full of fun. I'm sure you have a great time if you're saying that about me. I enjoy my fucking life. I have a great day every day. So thanks for the view and the engagement. That's pretty much how I took that. Okay. Bothers you that I wear these hats because it was a hat haul video. And so, yeah, I'm almost 40 and wear these hats. Guess what? When I'm almost 50, I'm going to be wearing them too. And 60 and so on. I like what I like. <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to come pop in for a little bit. He tried to spoil SmackDown for me yesterday. I hadn't watched it yet. I, I let it record. Then I watched it. He's like, he all caps. Let me tell you what he said. I was like, man, shh, don't say a word. Shut up. Where is it at? I passed it up. There it is. Yeah, I passed it up. He put, holy shit, all caps. The ending of SmackDown was insane. All caps for all this with exclamation points. I said, don't say a word. I didn't watch anything yet. yet. Shut up. Shh. With a sh emoji. He put, LOL. He said, enjoy. So he saw it before me, and I was like, so I went into it like, oh, shit, twisting the bloodline story, and sure enough, it was a good one. 
Finally had Jay Uso turn, so that was good. Probably have movers insurance in case you wanted to hire them to move. So I'm going to hire labor to help me, but I'm driving the truck. I'm driving the truck, pulling my SUV, which I, we talked about yesterday. I'm pulling my SUV on the trailer. Wife's going to drive the Infinity with my dog and everything. All my expensive, really expensive stuff is going to be in the back of the car. And the stuff that I still don't want to break or replace, but the bulk is going to be in the truck. And I already know how I want to put it. And I'm not, they're not moving a single box. I'm bringing every single box of fragrances myself. That's the stuff. I'm paying for movers, but I'm moving that stuff. I'm, I'm going to be working right alongside of them. I'm not going to get all of my money's worth here. I can't just stand there and watch people move my shit. I'm going to sit there and do it too. I'll be on the other side of a couch and, you know, lifting all this shit with them. But, um, but yeah, movers insurance. I'm not too, I'm not too worried about that because it's on me to make sure it's in good shape. I need to double check and make sure everything's secure the way I want it. Cause when you pay for movers, you better supervise all your shit. You know what I mean? You want, you want to make sure <clears throat> file a claim and go through the process. Uh, yeah, for sure. Cause the only time I've ever had movers help me was to unload when we moved here. You know, Cause I had help when we moved from Texas. I've always had family and friends that could help in other situations over the years, but when you're out of state, it is what it is, right? You gotta pay people to help you. You can't do it all all the shit by yourself. I missed you dearly. Where did he go wrong? There you go. Big big business law. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's crazy. Just got a sample of citrine today and cut damn. Just like y'all like just damn. There you go. Enjoy, man. Enjoy. Probably some discontinued stuff that's not replaceable too. I really yeah. That's a real possibility. That stuff can happen. God knows what all disappeared for him. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, they're nine grand a piece. Moving is a bitch. Couldn't have said it better myself, boss. Workers in the moving industry aren't about being organized. My aunt has tons of issues with a moving company. Most movers want to get done quickly and sacrifice accuracy. And that's all good. I have no problem coming behind them. It's the labor of point A to point B that I'm paying for. It being specifically how I want, I have no problem with, you know, doing the refinement coming behind them. There's going to be a lot of that because, like I said, the OCD is going to kick in. It's going to, I want it a certain way. That's when Dana Carlos is going to come out. That, my dad was super OCD. <laughs> that, that part of my DNA will come out in this situation. Pain and Gain, that's the name of the movie. Yeah, it sounds like it would have been from that. We moved from Pennsylvania back to Texas. I had bubble wrap every single fragrance individually because I did not keep boxes, so I was worried. And look, I have a ton that doesn't have boxes, and I have a ton that does because I have over a thousand. So I mean, there's hundreds without boxes, so I got to deal with all of that. I, we've been we got a ton of bubble wrap, and we save all the boxes when I get packages in. We got boxes everywhere. We've been having boxes everywhere because we knew this move was coming. I hear legacy, gentlemen, cologne. That is a good one. Very green with iris. A lot of green, pedigree and stuff like that. That's a good one, Nick, for sure. What seasons does Signature Rosé work? I'm definitely my show. Eric, we talked about this twice yesterday. Come on now. You literally asked me this twice yesterday, and I answered it both times. Come on now. Literally yesterday, you and I on this stream talked about it twice. This is going to be the third time in 24 hours you and I have this conversation. You really don't remember? Because it's spring and fall is the ideal situation, but I wear it year round. I wear it in the heat. I wear it in the cold. I can't believe you forgot. We did the, we did this twice yesterday. I'm so I'm very surprised, Eric. I still love you, but I'm very surprised. <clears throat> you have no short term memory. <laughs> Growing up as a drag, you know shit. I have Peter Pan syndrome. That dude can kick rocks. <laughs> Thirty seven and still wear my new era fitted caps. Look. This is some dude that dresses the same every day, wakes up and does the same shit every day. People that say that kind of stuff to me, I dress like a 14-year-old. I've, I've heard all that shit over the, over the last couple of years on social media, guys. Do you see it stopping me? These are, these are people that are unhappy. Unhappy. I'm telling you. If it bothers you how I dress and you feel the need to tell me I need to dress differently... Man, I'm going to pray for you to wake up tomorrow and find something better to do with your time. Because what you're doing is making you fucking miserable, dude. 
God's honest truth. That's just what it is. Cool water, grapefruit, and sage is wonderful. Dan, not the man, one of my favorite profile names ever. Good to see you, man. Mike Malone, coach of the Nug Nuggets, was rocking a flat brim, flat brim championship parade, and he's 51. That's exactly right. That's Like I said, it's there's, there's 16, 70-year-old men that wear flat bill hats. There's 16, 70-year-old men that wear Yeezys. See it all the time. Look like Grandpa Albert over here. And Bartholo guys that look like their name nicknames Bart because their name is Bartholomew. They got old man name because they're 80. Wearing Yeezy 350s. I've seen that stuff in person, not just on the internet. So yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's just people being miserable and trying to talk shit. That's all that is. How I dress has no effect on anyone's life. What it does is has my individuality on display. Because <clears throat> I am who I am. I'm surprised I don't get hated on for wearing the two chains more. <laughs> I'm surprised I don't get more heat for that. And have new and old formula of YDT. Tomorrow, since a YO Fresh and Chrome Sport. Nothing negative to say here on my end. That's some good stuff. Please, best alternatives to reflection, man. Similar scent profile. So the only one that comes to mind that I think is pretty much spot on <clears throat> is going to be Kadlaj Shiaka with the red label. I did a full review on it. Same quality, same elegance, better performance, better performance. Reflection man's a beast. I can't find in my country the clone you had in the last video. Oh, well, you're, you're in a bind then because that's the only one I've tried. <laughs> I don't know what country you're in. Malone was faded as a motherfucker. I like how you said that. Dino, what's going on, big dog? Picked up a bottle of Blue Seduction yesterday. Red tag sale for 15 bucks. I wore it one night this week. I don't remember which night. I need to put it back in its spot because I got to film the rotation video later. Let's destroy that like button. That's what I'm talking about. We got 118 likes, 116 watching. You're not going to hear 119 watching. You won't hear me complain. So I would try to get the 2011 to 2019 version before it got relabeled Dior Homme Original. That's the one I have. Yeah, it's 2011 to 2019, technically. It's not as sweet. Like, the Silver Stem was sweeter. It's actually the best version. The 2011 formula is the best one. The one that they had for the longest, because it was out for eight years. That was the best Dior Homme. It was better than the Silver Stem. The Silver Stem was rich, but it was way sweeter. Super powder bomb, too. I mean, it was phenomenal, but the more balanced version is that version, 2011 to 2019 which I have a five-ounce bottle of. It's the best one. I'm going to grab it. Well, too far back. I was going to grab it. Too far back. I got to dig to get to it. Oh, I have no idea. That's six weeks from now. I'm going to have a few fragrances in my backpack, though, <clears throat> that I'm going to keep with me. Good to see you, Joseph. Two days in a row. Hell yeah. The only people that receive compliments on the fragrance are good-looking people or people that know each other. False. Absolutely false. Now, I'm sure some god-awful, disgusting-looking uggo is probably not going to get approached. I'm not saying that. There's not some truth to that. But uh, definitely not the case. I don't think you have to be some 10 out of 10 male or female to get a compliment on your fragrance. That's definitely not been my experience. I am not a 10 out of 10. Um, but I am also not an uggo either i don't think so anyways um and i've gotten many compliments over the years pretty often from how i smell from complete strangers not just people i know so that is uh not true sir my service went out man i've been con concussed too many hits to the head that's it i that i can agree with that i can agree with a little touch of cte maybe i hope not I'm joking uh but i hope not but, yeah, we literally talked about that twice yesterday. Michael Scott, hey, I loved you in season three. Yeah, it's a troll profile. You know, as long as he keeps it light, I won't ban him. Uh, he dressed like a 14-year-old. That's not fair. At least 15. Right? Right. Come on. That's what she said. <laughs> I'm 45, and I still think and dress like I was 25. There you go. I don't like to judge people for what they wear. I mean, you only live once dressed when you want. Yeah, I agree. I know a 15-year-old work that loves his Air Maxes. Hey, I just bought the playoff 13s and the playoff 12s. They'll be here this week. Remember I was telling you guys I, I, I was very torn. It's like I'm not going to wear them much. 
but I, I did it anyway. I bought them. And I mean, 13 lows right there, right there, that box. And then the white and red Chicago 13s right there. I like what I like, man. I'm living. <laughs> Sorry I'm late. It's all good, Josh. Good to see you. You're not a member no more? You canceled or didn't renew? I see you don't have your membership anymore. Bulgari Wood and Aroli. Like what you like. I couldn't agree more. Blue Seduction or Radiant Seduction. I, I got to stick with Blue Seduction. Radiant Seduction in black is really good, though. That's one of my favorite rack store pickups of the year. It is really good. I, I was very happy with that one. Curious, too. You get your nose on sign your attitude yet? No. Not yet. Still just sign. I still only have just sign. Don't get fired up. Your ball or your hats are killing the game. Ronnie, I appreciate that. Thank you, man. No, I'm just I'm just a passionate person. When I get to talking about something that gets me gets me up and going, I'm not upset. <laughs> I'm not upset. I'm just being straight with people. You know, I'm being straight with people. And I like I said in the beginning of the stream, if I clap back at all, I get shit for it. I'm gonna get shit either way, so might as well clap back from time to time. Air Max 90s, I agree. I love Air Maxes. I have the Air Max 27 React 270s, the ENGs. Somebody uh, loved the black and blue colorway, blackened blue colorway. Like two days ago, I saw him in the gym. I couldn't stop staring at his shoes. I was like, God damn, those look badass. So I went on Goat and bought the damn things. Like, Man, I got to have those. They got a cool, a couple cool colorways, but I saw those in person. I was like, ooh, a couple shades of blue with a high vis, like electric green, almost high vis yellow kind of color. Ooh, yeah, I need those. Need those. Pretty excited about those. I couldn't stop staring at old boy's feet. They look great. Nine out of ten because I don't give tens. Not even a 9.5. I can't get a 9.5 because 9.5s were my 10, remember? You almost nailed my saying. You almost nailed it. Tried Vanilla Vibes. I have. I did a full review on it. it smells great. Almost like a boozy vanilla. Unfortunately, it quickly turns into a skin scent. Really? I get pretty good performance out of it. Then it, then it smells for hours. Too old to start skating, but love some Nike SBs. Same. I wear Vans all the time. I'm more of a Vans guy now as an old man, middle-aged guy, <laughs> versus when I was younger. I wear Vans to the gym all the time, and low-top chucks has been always been my thing. I've always been a low-top chuck guy. Always had some. Ageism is so prevalent today. It really pisses me off. I feel like 50, they think you're old. That's BS. I agree. 47, still love my 59, 50s. This one's a 950. This one's actually a 950. But the haul for the video that came out yesterday on the other channel was all 5950s. It's the Saints training camp hat for this year, the, the 5950. I, didn't, I opted to not get the 950. Normally, I'll get both. But, like, you'll see when the Crucial Catch hats come out and the Salute Service hats come out, I always get all of them. Like, there's seven that come out, I get all seven. The 940, the 920, the 3930, the 5950, the 950. I, I, get the, I get the beanie. I get all of them. When it comes to the limited yearly stuff for the Saints, I get it all. See you in the next one. Switching the day. Oh, yeah, it's time. We, we got to shut it down, guys. In two minutes, Dedrick's going to be live. So I'm going to shut it down. Following people talking about fragrances. I'm very respectful. My earlier comment was just my opinion. I've never trolled you. Never would. I like your videos. I, I just wasn't sure if it was trolling or not. It's all good. I mean, you're subscribed to me. You have to have been subscribed for at least two weeks to be in this chat right now. So like I said, no hate. I, I can take the light ball busting. You'll see me back and forth with the regulars. We bust each other's balls in this chat. That's all part of it. That's what we do here in this live stream. But no, 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 no shade or anything, man. You're all good. Get more compliments. I know because it happened to me. Soft seven, unless he starts rocking Packers, Brewers, or Bucks. Ooh, I guess I'm gonna stay a seven then. Shit, I do like the Brewers hats. Um, there's a few that I've debated on getting over the years. I don't have any Brewers hats, but uh, as far as the Packers, I do have one Packers hat, believe it or not. But uh, very old draft hat. And then Bucks is in Milwaukee Bucks. I don't have anything from Milwaukee Bucks. They're not one of my one of my teams. So sorry, man. I guess I'm a seventy. You catch me in the Chuck seventies and the Carhartt Cargos. There we go. 44, and when I dream, I'm still a teen. Been saying Peter Pan syndrome since I was 11. 
I have not tried it. But on that note, it is time to shut it down. I hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend. Make sure to tune in Dedrick Hicks Jr. over on YouTube. He's going live as we speak. And uh, thank you all for coming hang with me today. Check out the two videos I put out today if you haven't yet. Weekly rotation tomorrow. Oh, and check the description if you're interested in getting samples of either of the fragrances we talked about today. You guys have a good one.